allergies. I love them. Make me so happy. Ah. Hello, welcome back to Beauty with Friend. Today I have my... Woo! I almost dropped them. Panda Palette update for you. Yay! I think this is like my most watched series on this channel. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing if you found my videos through videos like this. I have four palettes here and uh, we have a lot to talk about. So let's just get started. I think the first most boring palette is still my Makeup Revenge palette. It's still here, it's still going strong. Also, allergies. I'm sorry, I apologize. So this is what it looks like. I'm still using Bark. Still there. Mm, tiny bit left, as you can see. But it just takes forever. Like, I use that every single day. Uh, granted, now that I do this video, I don't have it on, but usually I use this every single day. It's my brow color. And it's just not, it's just not empty yet. I've been using this for so long and it's still there. I will work on this. Eventually, I will eventually finish this up. I don't know when, but I will. Yes, I want to talk about it. So this is the It's My Pleasure palette by Colourpop. And you know, we had some problems in the past. It's a beautiful color. I love that palette. It's beautiful. But the breast pigments in here are just terrible to use. As if I would have known it. Okay. See? All of this broke off. So I just tapped it off. You heard that. The majority of... I, I use it today. See, I use it today. Biggest fallout I've ever seen. Ever. Like, I was... Oh my god, my, my concealer just went. I was purple all the way down. Like, on my cheeks, everywhere. Worst thing ever. And I just had a tiny bit of pen. And now look at this. Look at it. The palette is beautiful, but these shadows are just horrible to use. And I use these two. Miss Sandman and Bare Minimum I use up, and then this one I almost use up now. Not my fault. Like I said, I hit pen, and the only thing I did was close the palette and bring it upstairs. And then I did my thumbnail, holding up like this. That is not enough to make that eyeshadow break. Same was with Bare Minimum and Mr. Sandman. I used these a few times, hit pen, and as soon as we hit pen, they just shed everywhere. So, like I said, I used these two up, and I hit pen on that one. Which is almost gone. I actually want to get the um, It's My Luck palette, you know, the green one, but I think there are also some pressed pigments in and it's just horrible to use. Maybe I'm just horrible at makeup. Could be it. I don't know how to apply makeup. Well, I should know, apparently, but this is what it looks like. If it goes on like this, this would be the next palette that I try to hit pan on, like completely that I try to use up. Can you just imagine me taking this on vacation with me, on a flight, where people are just careless with your luggage and with your suitcase and whatever and just throw it around? This will be shadowed all over the place. The matte shades, one, two, and three, and maybe this one too, will be intact. These two, shadowed. I can guarantee you, these will be shadowed. So like I said, I want to get the It's My Pleasure, no, It's My Luck palette, the green one. But they are colors like this in too, and I, I just don't want that. So, I'll try to use this one up. I will do a video on this look. It's very easy. Two colors, again. Um, so you can see how it is performing, and you can see the fallout. I'm not lying. It is fallout. Not Fallout Boy, unfortunately. Would love that. One video on this, and then this will be gone, I can guarantee, and then I'm done with it. I just can't. Gorgeous palette, but the quality. Oh my god, the quality. Ah, moving on to this palette, which is still here. And this is Essence All About Nudes palette with one eyeshadow in. One eyeshadow. One eyeshadow. It's a blending color, and I'm very happy that it's still here, because it's a blending color I can use every single day. And I expect a pen. But it's still not really going anywhere. Also, um, it is very pigmented. Right, so we don't need a lot because if you use too much, that eyeshadow will literally be white and you look not that good. At least I don't think that's a good look. So working on it, I'm not mad about this palette. There are other palettes, call that pop one, that I'm more mad and angry about than this. So I will eventually finish this. It's a blending color, like I said. I use that every single day. If I don't use colorful eyeshadow like this, I just use this all over the lid and then go with it. So and then this palette here. I just recently did my go-to look on, which I will link here. I did that like, two videos ago. Um, this is what it looks like. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So I've been trying to use this one up. Champagne Truffle. And then this is what the rest looks like. And I will actually get rid of this. It's a beautiful color, as you could see from my current go-to look. But I feel like it's just getting old and it's not really holding up to the performance anymore. Or holding up to its standard anymore. So let me just get in there. The color looks nice, but as soon as you apply it, see? Like it's not really there anymore. It looks 
much darker on camera than those in real life because in real life it looks like like a crappy contour part, you know what I mean? So I will get rid of that. So I think we can count this as empty now. Um so far um I'm still okay with this palette, it's very dark. Um apart from this and this and the pink. Yeah, it's okay. I'm uh, currently using hot chocolate because there's a night dip. I'm a scat mask. Hot chocolate because there is a nice dip going on. See, I can speak English. Not really good, but I can. And I'm still using champagne truffle because that's the holiday color. And I, I'm just want, I just want to finish that off. Give you my goals for next month. Uh, so makeup proof rouge palette. I just want to finish up that one eyeshadow. That brow color. I want to use that. Emblems? Did I just see the emblems? I don't know. I want to use that up. Ultimate goal. Use that one up. Oh my god. This one, like I said, I will do a bit. Did it break more? No, I didn't. I will do a video on it. Using this one one more time and then get rid of it. Whatever's left, I will get rid of. I just, I just can't deal with it. So that will be done. And this one I want to expand the pan on because it's about time. Then here, um, expand the pan on champagne truffle and hitting pan on hot chocolate. That will be it. That brings me down to um, 65. Shadows currently, which means that I can buy new palette. Technically, I don't have any space for new palette, so I won't. But if if I was to buy a new palette, I could, because my goal was to stay under a hundred shadows, and so far, you know, I mean, I'm I'm doing good. It's just I have a few palettes. I have a quad. There's only two shades in. I have that Essence palette was only one shade in. So. Yes, I only have 66 shadows, but I still have um, a lot of palettes that are not empty because of one or two shades. That was it, that was my update. I will go and rinse my nose now with like salt water because I just can't. Allergies, so bad. I feel like my tonsils are swollen too, it's just horrible. So I hope you enjoyed this video, my update. Let me know how your projects are going. Whatever project it is, decluttering project, pen palette, project pen, whatever it is, let me know and see you next video.